So we are here today with Trudy, who is the owner of The Barrel here in Mooresville. Um, I'm Lisa J, the owner of the Destination Magazine, along with Danny. And we are just starting our first podcast interview to break out the new year with the first person that really helped us grow our publication from the ground up. So Trudy, my goodness after having three businesses. Yes. And now <laughs> starting the new year with just one. Tell me, what's going on? Well, uh, first one, Lake Norman Cottage, uh, 15 years old. Uh, the cabin next door, um, 13 years old. And then the barrel, five years old. And uh, a lot to handle. I bet. I threw 10 balls up in the air, eight hit the ground, and maybe I caught two. Thank goodness for great employees. And then one day someone approached me and asked if I would consider selling. And I said, uh, no, no, I had never. Mm -hmm. And then thinking about it, I said, well, there has to be an exit plan right. some, sometime. So, and, uh, so I decided to go ahead and let go of my two first right. baby businesses, but I kept the barrel. Um, kind of runs on its own. Um, it's close to home, and it, I can't retire yet. So it does give me something to do. Right. And um, yeah, just still loving it. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, it, it's incredible. Um, what you've done with all three businesses because our relationship goes back from first one the first one yes you were you had just moved downstairs i believe yes and that's when andy and i popped in and we met yes and and now andy and lisa here's a couple that walks in uh they're both very tall but as we can Keep see... Keep in mind, Andy is behind the scenes. Right. So you don't even get to see how mm -hmm. very tall they really are. <laughs> and here's Lisa, always stunning. Always. Right. And here's Andy, good-looking man, <laughs> but he is an old-fashioned hippie. Yeah. Looks like a biker, is a biker, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and they walk in and just adorable. And we became friends and a bond started immediately. And at the time they lived in Davidson, yes. where the cottage is. Um, they'd come in and we'd sit around the table, have some wine and just talk about anything. Our kids, good kids, bad kids, <laughs> relationships, friends, um, and businesses, and it, we loved it. Sometimes it was just the three of us. If it yeah. was bad weather, I had to be there because I was open, and they just came because they were right around the corner. And one night they walked in, and they said, we have to ask you a question. Now you're a business owner. They both had jobs in the publication arena, and they're thinking about quitting their jobs and opening their own magazine. Well, of course, as a business owner and knowing how scary it is, and you're going to have up times, down times, is there money to, to pay payroll? Is, mm -hmm. And of course, I encourage them just because of the talent, but yeah. it's the only publication I will ever, ever place an ad. Well, we're so thankful for you. That's pretty special. <laughs> oh, uh, just wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, we always have had so many wonderful moments there. And now here being uh, the, the newest child. Yes. Know, being able to do more here, which is wonderful. And what is the address here again? Uh, 1082 Brawley School Road. Okay. I so remember, in between yeah. Food Lion and Ace Hardware. Okay. Yeah. So it can 
can completely surprise you and not see it if you're not careful. So right. you got to look But for once it. you come in, you definitely will not miss it. <laughs> for sure. For sure. So, and it's exactly the same as the other two where when you walk in, you feel at home. Yeah. It's cozy. You could walk in by yourself mm -hmm. and there could be someone sitting over there and you look at each other. Hey, well, hey, how are you? blah blah <laughs> and become friends yeah. and it just becomes a big family yeah it's amazing mm -hmm. um and it's something in the atmosphere the wine does help <laughs> cheers cheers again again, again. 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 <laughs> for sure <laughs> and um yeah it, in fact we have one good customer well, we have many good customers but one customer this was uh, right after Thanksgiving, and he was sitting over there at the bar, and he goes, I just want to let you know, um, I come in here for the people. Oh. And then the wine. Right. Aww. And I said, oh my gosh. I love so that. So I actually made a vinyl script decal right. and it's on the table oh wow. i love that so oh, i mean amazing. that was just like perfect yeah you come in for the people yeah. and then the wine is set yeah right well it's it's always been amazing because you just have this exudes this energy about yourself okay. that is just so loving and endearing and welcoming to everyone um on top of the fact that you you know, do the murder mysteries, the wine dinners, oh, the yeah. music. I mean, you, I've, I know I've been through all of them with you. Oh, you yes. so many different <laughs> ones of them. So. Murder mysteries, it sounds like my type of thing for sure. I didn't yeah. know that. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's a blast. So much fun. So We've been doing fun. that since 2010. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah. They're a, yeah. they're a blast for sure. Oh, absolutely. And, and this woman is an amazing cook. I mean, she just creates <laughs> some crazy stuff that you're just like, oh my God, I would have never thought about putting those together. And they're amazing. And I've heard this before. And what I, my answer always is, no, I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. <laughs> I'm your mother <laughs> opening up the cabinets. Oh, well, what do we have? That's going to go in the soup today. <laughs> now, next time. You're going to have the same soup, but it may not have those beans <laughs> or whatever. And yeah, I don't do a recipe. You just put it together. Those are the best cooks right. when you don't have a recipe for right. sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. know, and just pull it all together and make it happen. And it's always made with love. Absolutely. And maybe that's the answer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that is the answer for sure. I, I mean, and the, gosh. we're going to do a video of a tour of this place, but you guys will get to see that. Yeah. You'll see that this is like almost like coming home, like coming mm -hmm. with a community, coming home. The furniture in here is so beautiful. And you can tell she really picked it out, you know, <laughs> trying to orchestrate it in her own ways. She knew that me coming in here, I was going to be obsessed with it. Yes. So <laughs> it, it definitely feels like a really cool place to hang out. And I mean, goodness, I'd love to hang out with my family here in my yeah. community as well. So oh, we do yeah. private events. We do eight people make a reservation. We have several tables. Right. We have the baby grand piano that we just, and it's from the 1860s, so wow. it cannot hold the tune. <laughs> but the, it, it's such a beautiful piece yeah. of furniture yeah. that we built a bar on top oh, of so the cool. piano. Nice. And of course, I think that seats 12. Right. And um, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. It's very cool. That's very good. Well, at about five years ago, I think we were talking about. Andy and I doing uh, just, I guess, growing, having our growing pains, not necessarily pains, but that's what you kind of call them, and realized that we needed more of a sophisticated, grown-up corporate name. <laughs> and uh, Because what was it? It was uh, Photo Dude. <laughs> Which he is a Jew. Yes. And he does do photos. And he, yes, yes, he does. So, and, you know, for... Yeah, a gazillion years, you know, he's been a photographer. And so that was always his thing. Everyone knows Andy as Photo Dude. His <laughs> license plate still says Photo Dude. <laughs> You're kidding. No. And so I'm like, okay, we need a grown up name. We, we really raising the bar to it for ourselves. And uh, we looked at each other and we just knew 
you know, with the fact that paying homage, I guess I would say, to you being such a huge part of our life and our publication and us having the guts to jump and go forward with a lot of your advice and help and nurturing us and pouring more wine. Um, That's right. <laughs> it, it helped to yes. give us the confidence and the, the strength to move forward. So the corporate name became Magic Table Media out of the magic table from the cottage. Yeah. And, you know, we always would be a part of, be surrounded by new friends, old friends, colleagues, dogs, babies, dogs, babies <laughs> you tears, it. laughter, yes, everything. everything. You everything. never knew what was going to happen yeah. around the magic table. That's true, but it was always amazing and always left there, you know, just feeling warm in your heart knowing, you know, you probably met a new person right. or plant many new people. Right. Which is wonderful. Yes. And um, and I'm going to write a book, and it's called The Magic Table. Oh, oh very my cool. goodness. And Andy, uh, I'm pretty sure he has many photos of that table. Yes. If he does, we oh, need to get him back down there and, yeah. and take some. I'm sure. But, so that table's still in there? Yes. yes. Oh, very cool. Yes. And uh, so the title is The Magic Table, but... It's where strangers meet strangers mm -hmm. cool. and change your life. No, wow. I love that. Journey. That's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm so, excited. Because, oh, I saw it every day. Every yeah. Night. Oh, and certainly. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. So uh, how far along are you on this book? Are we expecting it to come out soon or? Oh, I'm on my first page. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> well, you never it know starts with, with you. the first page. Exactly. It end up 60 exactly. tomorrow night. Yeah, right? You just never you know. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Mm. Well, I tell you, you know, you can, there's so much technology out there now, you can dictate, just talk to it and tell it what to say, right? <laughs> oh, to write the type. That's what I need to do. Yes. I tell you, it's just make amazing. Sure you proofread it. Sometimes when you say those things, nothing right. comes out how you want it to be. Said. Right. That's, that's so true. I've had that. A couple right. times. Well, I'll be calling you, honey. <laughs> uh, by all means, you know we're always here for you, no matter what. So, I love it. Oh my goodness, what else is there that we? So, need do you to... want to talk about this wine real oh, quick that yeah. we have here? Is this the one that you? This is my favorite. I'm actually trying to wean myself it. off of it because <laughs> it's so addicting. Ooh. Which one is this? One? This is eight years in the desert and it does have a price of how much 40 46 yes yeah. so that's why i'm trying to wean myself <laughs> off of it. right not be an everyday wine <laughs> yeah. and yet yeah, the winemaker dave finney had um and still has orange swift cellars that's oh, his winery nice. okay but he's also the creator of the prisoner oh. and he sold all those mm -hmm. to the prisoner wine company okay and he had a non-compete this is uh zinfandel based mm -hmm. um he could not make a wine similar to the prisoner okay for eight years oh wow so, oh, and wow. he waited eight yeah. years wow <laughs> and this is actually i think number six. Oh my goodness yeah Okay. So he came out with Eight Years in the Desert, number one, same thing. Right. Um, and no one could get a, another bottle. Of, no, no one could get number two mm -hmm. until every single Eight Years in the Desert bottle number one was sold. Oh, oh wow. Oh and gosh. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. and wow. then number two came out, and the same thing, number three, and now this is number six. Wow, that's incredible. Very cool. That is a great story, too. So, so do you have any events coming up anytime soon? Yes, we have, well, February. So yeah. we have Valentine's Day, yes, everything like that. Valentine's Day, murder mystery. We have on Valentine's Day, um, wine and chocolate pairing. Oh, very cool. And um, and wine-based, well, not based, uh, chocolate-covered strawberries okay. that 
they're kind of soaked in wine. Oh, mm. that sounds really good. <laughs> that sounds very good. Yes. That sounds lovely. Now, and you have live music usually every weekend. Every Friday and Saturday night, yeah. Very cool. Right. Especially and for this area. Down this part, I feel like you're in between a couple of the other places, but this is a perfect center mm -hmm. to have like live music and be in here with that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, and once I sold the other two locations, we were always closed on Sundays right. here. So I said, okay, now I just have one. We can open. Uh -huh. And it's been wonderful. Oh, um, and I'm looking to have a little jazz. Very cool. Oh, love like it. Like five to seven. So yeah. everyone can get home and right. do their, go to work the next day, the kids. And, nice. um, and just change it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah that'll be I really like, cool. I like that. That was very nice. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know, you know, from years past and hanging out uh, at the other location with you, um, you know, you were running around like chicken with her head cut exactly. off with all the people and the phone would ring and you'd look at me and give me that look and I'd go grab the phone and just say, exactly. Thank you for calling. <laughs> exactly. Answer the phone, take notes, yeah. take a message, you know, you're wanting to book a, you know, <laughs> reserve, you know, get the phone number and. You know, I mean, we all, all of us, Absolutely. you know, we all just always chipped in, Absolutely. you know, and when you weren't visible or were out in the kitchen and new people would walk in, we'd all practically the entire table would chime in. Welcome. <laughs> How are you today? They're like, well, they all work here? Or? I know. Everybody's just looking at us like, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, you know, gosh. and it, it was so much fun. And then they'd kind of give us that look like. Okay, you're drinking wine and yet you're greeting us, and it's like <laughs> maybe they're just oh, like it's, it's, it's all good. She just stepped in the back, you know, and they're like, oh, and, oh. but it just broke that ice. So and going. how many times people would walk in and they would do that, mm -hmm. and then they'd go, oh, is this your house? Uh, yeah. Is this like, yeah, is this like it's a like is this a, yeah, or? yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. And it was always just so heartwarming because. It kind of broke that ice of you know someone new walking into where people are turned to stare you know right. you're always kind of like oh <laughs> you know and this just kind of like broke that ice and we're like oh come on have a seat you know what do you like oh you're here to try some of mine that's just how it was time oh, that sounds time. great always like that uh you know but again it's this one's energy you yeah. know she just exudes that and it just makes everyone just kind of like weave together and create that family well, feeling yes and this is this is now when you said that it brought this back um so in the beginning before constant contact or any anything like that i had to send out a newsletter every week sit there and Hey, and I had to proof it, so yeah. you can never proof your own. There'd be misspelled words, there'd be whatever, but I would always sign it as when I hear the laughter. Mm -hmm. And so what does that mean? Until or when, and I could be in the back here now. Yeah. And hear people talking, whatever, you know, we have customers out here. But when they really start laughing, like belly laughing, yeah, that's I hear my smile, mm -hmm. and I, I did my job. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, for Just, sure. Yeah, love it. <laughs> so, what are your hours? Um, so, Monday through Saturday, two until nine ish. Okay. <laughs> now we. We put nine on there because obviously we have to come up with an, a number. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but we're never out of here at nine. And yeah. it could be 10 30, 11 o'clock. It yeah. depends on how many people are here. And then Sunday, noon until five. Gotcha. For right now, until I start the jazz yeah. right. going. And then it'll probably be seven. Right. Very nice. And that'll be nice. So since we're coming up on Valentine's Day, guys, you heard it from here. Mm -hmm. um, if you're planning something for Valentine's Day or you need something to plan, they have it. They have it here for you. They have the tastings. They have everything. You don't even have to worry about it. If you're a guy, bring your girl. If you're a girl, bring your guy. If you're another girl, bring another girl. Whatever you want. <laughs> but... 
they had the date planned so you don't have to think about it that's right, right. and um we have beautiful gift certificates with the hearts on it um because we want you to buy wine because flowers die yeah true yeah wine doesn't die no <laughs> that's the good thing about and it. it it's enjoyed way much more yes than flowers yeah, for and sure. if you want something to display on your countertop, just display that. And you're fine. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you don't have to throw away that wine bottle. Nope. <laughs> you can make something else into <laughs> right? it. Right? Exactly. You can put some flowers. 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you want to, like, overdo it, yeah, go right. get flowers. Yeah, right. But... Yeah. <laughs> wine and flowers. Right. Made. There you go. Yeah. That's even better. Yeah. 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 That works. <laughs> and they're having chocolate too, so wine, chocolate, and flowers. Wow, that's gonna be the best Valentine's Day for everybody. Yeah, no kidding. For sure. <laughs> it will be amazing.